Hey, what's up guys? Guys are working in Salesforce. You need a good internet connectivity to work on it. You need an internet connection to log in into your org and to do the job. Maybe you are having a good internet connection at your office or at your home, but it's not necessarily like it will be same everywhere. I mean, we can work from anywhere. I mean, it is possible like uh, you are working from a friend's home or maybe you are having a cup of coffee at Starbucks and working from there. Yes, it is possible. Guys, suppose you are having an important meeting with a client and you need to store the client's information into your Salesforce org, but you are not carrying your laptop. So what other options are left? We can just simply do the entry using the Salesforce One mobile app using our cell phone, correct? But suppose if the internet connectivity is not available at that moment, so what would you do now? I'm sure you don't want to lose the client. So guys, in today's video, I'll explain a feature that is available for Salesforce One mobile application through which we can do the entries, we can do the job offline also. So it will be storing the data into our phone's cached memory and whenever we'll, we'll have the internet connectivity back, it will upload the data into our Salesforce org. But overall, we'll be able to do the entries, we'll be able to do the contacts, accounts or even opportunities without having a good internet connectivity or without having an internet connection. Okay, so guys, let's start this video. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys, so in today's demo, I'll explain how you can enable offline access for your Salesforce mobile one application and I'll let you know like how you can use it. So you just need to log in into your developer or first. Let me just open mine. OK, so as you can see, I have already logged in into my developer org and you just have to click on the setup. And search for offline. So first, first of all, we have to enable the functionality after that we'll be able to use it. All right, you have to click on Salesforce offline. OK, guys, so you have to make sure like you're having both of these permission. The first one is enable caching in Salesforce app for Android and iOS. And the second one is enable offline create, edit and delete in Salesforce for Android and iOS. OK, so you just have to check these checkbox and click on save button. So it will enable the uh, offline catching for mobile devices and it will work offline also okay so guys let me show you my salesforce mobile application and how we can store entries offline in it okay so let me just move the screen to my salesforce application all right guys so as you can see on my screen i'm already having the salesforce on mobile application let me open it Okay, so my Wi-Fi is on right now and uh, as I have explained you already like it will be displaying the data from the cached memory. So the data should be in cached memory first. Like if you are not having data in the cached memory and trying to retrieve it. So the data won't be retrieved and it will show an error like the internet connectivity is not available. So you should have the data first into the cached memory. Let me just uh, turn off the internet and uh, show you an example of it. So let's say I have not created opportunity here. So when I try to create a new opportunity, it will show me the error like check your internet connection, try again. But I have created some accounts here in this mobile application. So when I go to account and when I will try to create new account, so the new account page will render. As you can see, these are my record types. Let's select the first one. And this is the new account page, guys. So the page is displaying because I have already opened it earlier. So the page is stored in my cache data. Let's store the account name here. Offline account three. OK, and hit the save button. OK, guys, so the record is saved in my cache data. As you can see, there is a notification. You have records uh, that are pending to sync. It means the records, uh, the record is still in the cache memory. It's not online, but overall, like it is saved already without internet connection. Now, whenever you will be having the internet connection back, back, it will sync the data and it will upload that particular record online. Right now, it's in my cache memory, in my phone's cache memory. So let's say if... Uh, we go back to account one more time so the notification will still be there as you can see the notification is still here 
and uh, it will be here until we turn on the internet so let's turn on the Wi-Fi and okay so the account was saved successfully and as you can see the notification is also removed from the top now it means the account has been created uh, into the org itself now and you can see the recent account section we are having the account here and let's open it okay so we are having the data here so guys it will sync the data uh, whenever you will be having the internet connection back okay so guys if you like today's video please uh, subscribe to the channel a subscribe to the channel will be awesome and uh, that's it for today guys and i hope you learned something new today hey guys i hope you liked today's video please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below also let me know if you have any query in the comment section below guys i'll try to revert back as soon as possible i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching